Hello everybody, D23Gaming here, and welcome back to another Mindtest video. Today I'm going to show you the best possible method for mining precious ores in Mindtest. Now, if you are coming from Minecraft, you probably use a method of mining that has been practiced for well over a decade. What you would do is you usually just dig a staircase down, going all the way to diamond level. In versions prior to 1.18, you would staircase down and then start branch mining at Y level 11. Ever since 1.18 released, you have to rely more on caving than branch mining. The best place to find coal, diamonds, and raw iron have changed so that they have their own special spawn ranges. For example, iron spawns in mountains and at Y level 16. Diamonds are found most commonly in the deepest parts of a Minecraft cave. Coal isn't really found in deep slate, etc. But how does the ore generation work in mine test, you ask? Well, let's first talk about the size of each mine test world. Unlike Minecraft, mine test has a perfect cube shaped world, instead of a very big flat square like Minecraft. Mine test worlds are 60,000 blocks, or nodes, big. That means in each axis, the world is 60,000 nodes in size. The most unique feature of mine test are the underground cave systems. You can go mining for as far down as you can possibly manage. While it's easy reaching Mindtest's world borders, you will be spending a very, very long time underground. I have played this game since 2017, and I have still never seen the bottom of a Mindtest world. You can use the slash teleport command to quick travel, but in normal survival mode, it is the biggest achievement you can ever earn in Mindtest. If you are one of the Mindtest players that use the hunger mod, then you will know the struggle of stashing and saving up food when you go far underground, but also coming back up which takes up the most hunger. Now let's talk about how exactly the ore distribution works in vanilla mine test. According to the default v7 world generation, coal spawns anywhere on the surface and becomes the most common at y level 0 and below. Copper ore starts spawning in small amounts at y level minus 64, then becomes most common at y minus 128. The same applies for tin ore. Iron ore starts spawning at y minus 128, and then becomes abundant at Y-256 and below. Then gold starting from Y-256 to 512. From there, Mies ore follows to 1024 and below. Diamonds spawn from there and become more abundant at Y-2048 and below. And finally is Mies blocks, which I personally never even came across in survival or creative, spawning beyond. And so every ore has eventually revealed itself after all Y-level checkpoints. Every ore is found at Y-2048 and beyond. Okay, that was a lot of numbers to absorb, but I'm sure you get the basic idea of it. I'll make sure to leave a link to this page down in the description, so you can check it out for yourself. So how does one get to every ore in the shortest amount of time? I'm going to tell you right now that it does not involve staircasing. No, instead, you will have to have an inventory full of ladders, because you will be digging straight down. The fastest way to get to the bottom is to try and spend the least time digging straight down as possible. If you dig straight down and break into a cave, use a water bucket to get down safely. Then run as far down the cave system as you can. Where there's a dead end, dig down from there. Rinse and repeat. Eventually, you'll see that your coordinates, if you press F5, is in the far negatives. You can go as far down as minus 30,000. As you play mine test, you will find out that Mies and Diamonds are the strongest materials in Vanilla mine test. Mies is used for the popular Mies Cons mod, which aims to be mine test's version of power, just like Redstone. But I'll make a video on that some other day. Now let's talk about how ores visually generate. In Minecraft as you know by now, ores spawn in blobs. So if you mine the last ore that you see, mostly that would be the entirety of the ore blob. However in mine test, all spawn in fractal groups, with ores often interlacing with each other. So mining every single ore group requires you to dig around in every direction to get every single ore. And this often leads you into other ore groups, which sends you on a mining frenzy, as you never know when to stop looking. So I hope I have taught you some things about mining in mine test. I definitely plan to make some more videos on this alternative game to Minecraft which has devolved into an over-monitored, buggy, microtransaction infested game. While Mindtest has the same idea as Minecraft, the overall experience is vastly different. The only enemy you have to face in Mindtest caves are your missteps and bad food management. 
you will fall to your death many times in mind test, trust me. And please, don't try to MLG water bucket either, cause you won't survive.